Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Allison, and I suffer from hair loss, and I am going to be doing wig reviews and any other sort of thing that goes with wigs, like educational videos and whatnot, and I also follow a carnivore diet to control and help my autoimmune disorders. So today I'm going to be reviewing my Henry Margu Willow in the shade 88GR. So this girl, which is a similar style to the Trezzalore's California Beach Waves, has the same curtain bangs, but these ones are longer. And this one has the same style and layers in the like loose sort of undone, almost beachy sort of, beachy sort of just, like I said, it's like a casual, but also like a, a casual glamour, if you will. That's my opinion. But here it's a rooted shade. It's blonde. It does have, um, you know, now that I'm looking at this, it really, really reminds me of Tressalore's um, I can never remember the number of it, but it's the one that ends. It's the blonde, the rooted blonde that has the auburn bits in it that is, ends with 10, or ends with R10. And I actually have it sitting right here. Like, this wasn't planned, but here we are. So, this is Henry Margu's Willow, and this is Trezalore's California Beach Waves. This is the one that ends in R10, and this is the 88GR. You see how they're like similar? Like I feel like they're really close in color. I mean, on, when I'm looking at it now, this one looks lighter, and this one looks more red and kind of sandy, but you see that when you get real up close, which is what I was doing with my eyeballs. <laughs> they look very very similar because they're both like I would classify it as like a medium blonde with red bits and then specifically auburn streaks and then highlights of a lighter cooler blonde throughout it's all I have to say is you know when you like a color you like a color and when you look at it on the swatches or you watch a video or a blog, you read a blog post or something, and then all of a sudden it's like, wow, my closet is full of basically all the same colors, but from different brands. <laughs> so but I didn't pretend I didn't go over the cap. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so unlike Trezalore's California Beach Waves, uh, Henry Margot's Willow is not a complete mono cap, but you do have a mono part. And then you have the same wefted open bit you have the velvet nape, which is, I would, I would call that extended because some of them are not that big. The velvet ear tabs with metal stays. And here, the lace in the front stops. Like, it's like here and here. So, here we are. Let's fix that part real quick. I guess I'll do it when I put it on. So. There we go. Oh, so nice. So this here is also a regular synthetic wig, which is why it's a little bit shiny, but that doesn't really deter, deter me at all. Um, the Trezalore one is not. It is, is not a regular synthetic. It is heat friendly. So it does not appear as shiny. It looks more um, real. But this one here is still very pretty and it's very easily manipulated, but this is one of the ones where you'd want a spray bottle and you'd want to like spray the part and then kind of train the hairs to lay where you want them to. So this one, as you can see, its curtain bangs are a little longer and you've got multiple 
Yeah, multiple levels of like layers here. So it gives a very fun, kind of playful <laughs> playful vibe. Alright, so this lace front is make sure I'm touching it. <laughs> this one's actually really good too. I mean you can not got it back up far enough. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so would I recommend this one when I already really loved the other one? I I do think so. I think having a regular synthetic in your repertoire is something that I think every wig wearer should try a regular synthetic at some point because it's different. It has, I think, like a longer shelf life because it doesn't require heat, It's but it's a long wig so you gotta like brush it and put the detangling stuff and everything like before you put it away. But I mean, when they have a sale for this one, it's like less than $200. And I think it's a more budget friendly sort of style. And I do think it's very pretty as long as you wanna stay with your part on this side. Otherwise, I mean, there's a little bit of permatease here. And I mean, could you like theoretically train it to lay the other way? Yes, I do think you could because even though it's got that permatease and everything, if you, and it's not a monotop and like a full one, you can still, now remember this hasn't been, I haven't trained it to do this. If you got in there with like a rat tail comb, that's what it's called, and then try and get it to lay down. If you don't mind it looking kind of messy and everything, I think you could. I also think that this one would be really great for putting up, um, especially in like an easy sort of situation. Like a low ponytail would look really nice, just like the other ones. And then you could easily, because it's like the same sort of shape, you know, put it up here or twist it and turn it into like a bun. That I think would look really pretty. It would be super easy to go like out to dinner, like I'm already ready, you know? Just make sure it's down far enough to correct the hairs. And I mean, you're ready to go. It's very pretty. That's the end, and thank you for stopping by on my channel and watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content, because I'm always coming out with more. Thank you so much, and see you again!